We start right now with big breaking news on the debate over tolls in Connecticut. The governor has hit the brakes on the issue that wasn't very popular with a lot of lawmakers and people all throughout the state. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Roger Suzanne is joining us live right now. He's at the state capitol uh, with more details on why it looks like lawmakers just could not reach a deal here. Roger. Yeah, Mark, of course, two sides to every story and Governor Ned Lamont says this proposal died really because in his opinion there was a lack of courage in the state's legislature. He couldn't even get a vote on the plan, so now he will pivot and try to find the money to pay for improvements to roads and bridges without using money from tolls. Now here's the situation. Critics will say the proposal has been on life support ever since Governor Lamont introduced the plan shortly after he was elected. The governor initially wanted to toll all cars and trucks on Connecticut highways, but once that proposal ran straight into a brick wall, he shifted gears and recently tried to push forward a law that would only toll tractor trailers on a dozen Connecticut bridges. This week, Democrats in the House and Senate plan to each vote on part of the proposal simultaneously, even as Republicans argued that maneuver was dirty pool and they threatened to respond with a 30-hour filibuster. But in the end, the governor's toll plan broke down before it reached the finish line. Just hours ago, when Democrats in the Senate said they needed more time to wrangle enough votes, Governor Lamont pulled the plug and announced he will instead attempt to essentially borrow the money needed for road and bridge repair from taxpayers by taking $200 million out of bonding. The governor says it's a loss for the people of Connecticut, but Senate Minority Leader Len Fasano feels it's time to move on. Right now, we're going to go back to the way we've done it for years in this state, when we couldn't, when we just kept kicking the can down the road. Uh, we both agree, Republicans and Democrats, we need 19 or 20 billion dollars. That included 200 million dollars additional to what we had before. So I'm going to do that uh, out of bonding. We think that's a great idea. Uh, that has sucked the oxygen out of this building for almost two years now. And there's a lot of legislative business that uh, we must do. And everyone waiting for bated breath, whether or not their votes to support tolls or not, has taken away from other business in this capital. And you could really hear the disappointment in the governor's voice. He says that tolls are dead, certainly for this legislative session. He does hope that the proposal can possibly come back to life as soon as next year. But Republican leaders say they don't believe that's going to happen. They feel the toll proposals won't be heard from for years to come. Reporting live at the state capitol, I'm Roger Suzanne in Channel 3 Eyewitness News.